that you guys have, like any other big boxes or packages? Even from like last night? I, I don't know about last night. I just off of the Dallas point, that's all we had. She's such a good girl. Good. Yes, you are. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Yeah. She is doing a really good job. She's very calm and very tired. <laughs> she keeps like falling asleep. I know you have a long journey. Oh my. <laughs> she is so small. is slowly going down. Oh no, oh no. Oh my. Hi! Oh, you are precious. Oh my god. these twist tie things first to get her out. Oh. Are you ready? She's she's waiting so politely. Oh, you're very good. I know. You're she's purring. purring. Are you a little nervous? It's okay. You have every right to be. We can go slow. It's okay. Oh my, she's so polite. Ugh. These are hard. I know. Jay. I know you want out. <laughs> I want you out too. Let's try this one. Just one more. She's purring so loud. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh she gosh. she's excited. Okay, so let's see. Oh. There you go. You can come out if you like. Oh okay, you can take your time. Sorry. 
hear her sniffing because she's purry. Cardboard. Oh, chew that? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Oh my god, you even tiny up from over here. We're so tiny. And she wants to get in the cardboard. Do you want a box? I'm afraid to move too much stuff. I want to freak you out, Bendy. Do you have a different box you could give her? Do you want some food? I think she really wants to be in a box. You want to go in a box? You can't go under the air. Maybe a paper bag. Hide for a little bit in the corner. It's okay. You can hide if you like. You can hide by the ramen. Yeah. That's a good place to hide. Oh, my. Doing such a good job. Oh, my gosh. Get it. I know, she like wants to, to play with it. it. She's like, oh, gotta get off. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'll get it. Okay. 
Can I try to pet her? She's like, I don't want you to be touching me, but I like the way that it feels. Oh my gosh, she's so soft. Oh, oh god, oh, this is going in over. the way. <laughs> Phoebe. <laughs> oh my gosh. I should have known, but. Oh no. <laughs> Away. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> you are very talented, Missy. What's that noise? Is it the comedy? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? This is an excellent strategy. <laughs> Today, we're trying to get used to the collar, but it's a little weird. <laughs> I know, it's kind of weird, huh? I know. It follow you. I know, you try to get it off. <laughs> but this way, I won't step on you. You're very small, you know. <laughs> so it's only day two of Persephone living at my place 
And she already seems to like me because she enjoys following me. <laughs> or maybe trying to beat me to where I'm gonna go. What are you doing over there? Going. Hi. <laughs> well, this is the best blanket, huh? mind? It's kind of rude. Where are you trying to go? Oh my gosh. Seffy. Someone is very hyper this morning, huh? Hi. Oh my. hard to walk.
You just getting comfy? Persephone. <laughs> what do you think? Come here. Ah! Hi. Stop biting me. Please. Okay. <laughs> I know you want to participate, but you have to not bite me. Don't. <laughs> Please. Hi, uh, the footage that you just watched was from like two months ago. Yeah, two, yeah, two months ago, <laughs> jeez. Sorry, it's been just like, it's been 2020 and the start of 2021, so I'm sure you all understand. Um, yeah, I have a cat now. I'm calling her a cat because she is so much bigger than when I first got her. Uh, this is Persephone. Let me, let me, hang on. No, just. For like two seconds, I just want to introduce you to everybody. This is, ah, <laughs> my crazy cat. She's very hyper right now. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'll show you like extra footage and stuff of her when she's not being like super crazy. Do not start attacking me. What did I just say? <laughs> um, so yeah, I just thought I would pop on here. <sighs> Are you gonna let me do this? I'm gonna get the squirt bottle. Mm -hmm. Now she's keeping her distance. She knows what this is. Yeah, so I just thought I would pop on here just for a couple of like ending comments, I guess. Yeah, so I got Persephone, my calico kitten, um, about two months ago, a little bit before or after my birthday, around my birthday last year in November. Um, and yeah, now she lives with me and is terrible. Uh, if there's one thing you should know about my child, it's that she is clawing the back of the couch. She's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Terrible. <laughs> no, yeah, she's just super young and so she has a ton of energy and is very naughty. Uh, kittens are like toddlers who can run. and jump very high. Yeah, no, she's actually really lovely. Uh, she's very naughty, like don't get me wrong, she's very naughty, but she also is a lot of fun. She's super, super friendly. I was really worried that when I first got her, um, or I wasn't worried, I guess I should say, I was just expecting her to be really shy because a lot of times when you introduce cats into a new place, they're really hesitant and shy and uh, take a while to warm up to people, but she, out of all the cats I've ever owned, uh, she has been the most like outgoing, for sure, for sure. She's really not that afraid of strangers, or if she is, it only takes her like maybe an hour or so to warm up to people. I should mention too that uh, the reason that I actually got Persephone is for a couple of reasons. So the first one being that I lost my own cat, uh, Tessa, last year and I was absolutely devastated. Um, I have grown up with cats my whole life and we had three, four cats. Well, three cats for quite a long time. And then we had like a stray come in. So we had four cats for a while. And then sort of uh, as they all got older, we lost them all in like kind of a rapid succession rate. Uh, and it was really hard <laughs> and my personal cat Tessa was the last one to pass away last year I was really sad, but um It actually probably was for the best because she was really old and required a lot of care and since I had to move out uh, And start school she's playing with shoelaces and start school. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to really tend to her uh, so even though it was really devastating it was probably like good timing if that makes sense so I went through most of last year 2020 without a cat for the first time in my life like literally since I was born there have been cats in my house so it was really weird to not have a cat and I felt really like sad I'm not gonna lie I love cats I love all animals uh, I love dogs and and you know everything too but I'm I'm definitely a cat person. So yeah, um, after 2020, I wanted a cat. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Uh, I 
I wanted to have a companion to go into winter with me specifically because I definitely struggle with winter in general uh, but Minnesota winters they're rough and I wanted to have a cat so I got one I won't go into the whole story of the adoption process because it's kind of a lot a bunch of people tried to scam me the breeder who I actually went with was like kind of horrible um, and it was super super stressful like the whole time but it, it all ended up working out which is great I should mention too that the reason that I went with a breeder uh, is because I really wanted a kitten um, and my the shelters my local shelters around me ha don't attack my hair please you're making me so uncomfortable <laughs> you just gonna hang out right there and look at my hair she tacks my hair a lot, which is probably like her worst trait because my hair is very close to my face and I'm sure you can assume what happens. As I was saying, uh, the shelters near me did have some kittens, however, like all the kittens you could only adopt in pairs. <laughs> Knew that would happen. You could only adopt the kittens in pairs. Uh, which I was definitely not prepared to do um, and then they did have some young Cats, but I wanted a kitten. I had just had like I said old cats die in rapid succession and I definitely wanted just to have a, a Kitten like I wanted a kitten which is why I ended up going with a breeder and actually I had been looking at munchkin kittens Which are the cats with like the really really short legs uh, and she was kind of supposed to be a munchkin cat But there's only like a 50 50 chance when you breed them that they'll have the short legs uh, But I actually just fell in love with her when I saw her pictures on the breeder site and uh, Because she wasn't a munchkin even though it was from a munchkin breeder. She was a lot cheaper She actually didn't have a lot of the traits that she was supposed to be bred for the breeder bred for the short legs folded ears and blue eyes and she doesn't have any of those so i got her for quite a low price from the breeder however because she was supposed to be a munchkin cat um she has like a really long body it's really cute i love her but okay so aside from being terrible uh she is yeah super super friendly really playful lots of energy um really cuddly when she is not being hyper she is super cuddly super lovey she follows me everywhere and she really likes to be involved in everything that i do like everything she gets really mad when i'm doing dishes or cooking like up on my high kitchen counter because she can't see what's going on and she'll just like sit at my feet and meow and occasionally try to scale my legs which sucks uh but we're trying to train her out of that <laughs> but yeah overall she's a really great companion she keeps me company she's super loving and we have a lot of fun and i'm ready for her to not have quite as much energy because oh my gosh she is a handful uh she's a very spicy lady <laughs> yeah if you guys want to hear like the whole story of the adoption process and like my experience with cats and like I was almost scammed and dealing with the breeder and like all this sort of stuff I'd be happy to make another video uh, but unless people want that I'll probably just leave it here and continue on with my life <laughs> yeah sorry I haven't posted in like a long time I didn't want to so that's why I'm back now. I don't know if I'm gonna be posting a whole lot more videos. Uh, I don't have a set schedule in mind. I have quite a busy school schedule this time, so I might uh, go ahead and post some videos here and there. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just doing what I want. So <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Oh my God, she just settled down on her little cat hammock and that means that it's nap time. Thank God, I always love it when she goes into there because yeah, it usually means that she's tired and ready to nap and that I get a break and can do schoolwork finally.